All right, man. This is another opportunity for me to practice letting go, because my mom just really, you know, not right, not just now, but you know, I just found out one of the shots that I recorded at home when I was about to leave home, and I hugged my grandpa and grandma. That moment, my mom just used a plastic bag and blocked the view. Yeah, just for that five seconds, you know. That was a, such a coincidence. I mean, she didn't mean to do it. It wasn't on purpose. But、uh, yeah, man, I I I I, I gotta be honest. I, I'm so disturbed by it. But I can't. I can't. I can't just let that you know affect me. As I said, this is another opportunity to practice letting go. I can't just let that get to me. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. I'm gonna read some books. We are in Nanchang already. It's been almost、uh, one and a one one hour and forty minutes. So it's been a really fun drive, fun ride. You know, I'll just、um, on this page one zero five. Okay, you hear that? Nanchang, the capital of Jiangxi Province. Okay, I must start reading right now. Um, on page one zero five, creative use of mind. If you need to use your mind for a specific purpose, okay, I'll I just wait. I just wait a little bit. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just let it go, man. Let it go. Okay. Relax. Relax, Carl. Yeah. Honestly, like I'm feeling. Quite upset. <laughs> okay, let's go. Creative use of mind. If you need to use your mind for a specific purpose, use it in conjunction with your inner body. Only if you are able to be conscious without thought can use your can you use your mind creatively. And the easiest way to enter that state is through your body. Whenever an answer, a solution, or a creative idea is needed. Stop thinking for a moment by focusing on tension on your inner energy field. Become aware of the stillness. When you resume thinking, it will be fresh and creative. In any thought activity, make it a habit to go back and forth every few minutes or so between thinking and an inner kind of listening, an inner stillness. We could say, don't just think with your head; think with your whole body. I love it, you know. Right now, like my whole body is kind of shivering because I got, you know, upset. You know, this is not like just mild upset. I am really upset, man, because <laughs> of that, you know, footage ruined by my mom. But again, she didn't do it on purpose, so I have to let it go. I don't think with my head. All these emotions. I mean, even the body reacts、um, to an emotion, right? So, okay, lots of passengers are getting in the train, and it's kind of loud, but that's okay. This is the vibe. Let me show you, okay? One sec, one sec. Let me show you. All right. This is quite fun, huh? Yep. These people. Okay, let me continue here. The art of listening. When listening to another person, don't just listen with your mind. Listen with your whole body. Feel the energy field of your inner body as you listen. That takes attention away from thinking and creates a still space that enables you to truly listen without the mind interfering. You are giving the other person space, space to be. It is the most precious gift you can give. Most people don't know how to listen because the major part of their attention is taken up by thinking. They pay more attention to that than to that to what the other person is saying, and not at all to what really matters: the being of the other person underneath the words and the mind. Of course, you cannot feel someone else being except through your own. This is the beginning of the realization of oneness, which is love. At the deepest level of being, you are one with all that is. Most human relationships consist mainly of minds interacting with each other, not of human beings communicating. Being in communion, being in communion, 
No relationship can thrive in that way, and that is why there is so much conflict in relationships. When the mind is running your life, conflict, strife, and problems are inevitable. Being in touch with your inner body creates a clear space of no mind, no mind within which the relationship can flower. Okay, I didn't really quite understand.、Um, But I definitely know what it means when your mind is running your life. Conflict is inevitable, so you have to get in touch with your inner body, and then you have this space between your mind and no mind. Okay, sounds good. I am feeling physically slightly uncomfortable, and that's fine. I've seen it. Yep, I failed it. That's okay. I'll let it go. All right. Let me go to page one hundred. Okay. Your link with the unmanifested. Okay, it's kind of too loud. But I believe it's fine, since most people wouldn't really. Read in this way. This is just for, I mean, inspiration. Just an inspiration for my audience that you can read anywhere, anytime, anyhow. Yeah, it's better than not reading at all, right? On page one hundred, your link with the unmanifested. What is the relationship between presence and the inner body? Presence is pure consciousness, consciousness that has been reclaimed from the mind, from the world of form. The inner body is your link with the unmanifested, and in, in its and in its deepest aspect is the unmanifested, the source from which consciousness emanates as the light emanates from the sun. Awareness of the inner body is consciousness remembering its origin and returning to the source. Okay, cool. Unmanifested. What is the relationship between presence and the inner body? Presence is pure consciousness, consciousness that has been reclaimed from the mind, from the world of form. The inner body is your link with your unmanifested. Okay. Unmanifested. My understanding about unmanifested. I didn't really understand this word at all. But now I think it's things that you couldn't verbalize, but they do exist. They are not manifested in、uh, the word form, like in this, you know, whether visible or you know, understandable, right? Something、uh, you couldn't understand with your mind. The source, yeah. The inner body is your link with the unmanifested, and in its deepest aspect is the unmanifested, the source from which consciousness emanates as light emanates from the sun. Cool. <coughs> okay, I'll read a little bit more. Yep, my mom is still taking a nap. <laughs> She's enjoying this trip. Okay. Is unmanifested. Is the unmanifested the same as being? Yes. The word unmanifested attempts, by way of negation, to express that which cannot be spoken, thought, or imagined. It points to what it is by saying what it is not. Being, on the other hand, is a positive term. Please don't get attached to either of these words or stop believing in them. They are no more than sign points, signposts. Yes, the word unmanifested. I'm, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna read it again. I don't. I don't think I understand it fully. So, yeah. Yes, the word unmanifested attempts, by way of negation, to express that which cannot be spoken, thought, or imagined. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like you cannot put into words. It's unable to be verbalized or even imagined. It points to what it is by saying what it is not. Being, on the other hand, is a positive term. Please don't get attached to either of these words or stop believing in them. They are no more than signposts. Okay, that I don't understand. 
why is not and what is signpost here? What does that refer to? That's okay. I'm gonna continue on this next question. You say that presence is consciousness that has been reclaimed from the mind. Who does the reclaiming? You do. But since in your essence, you are consciousness, we might as well say that it is an awakening of consciousness from the dream of form. This does not mean that your own form will instantly vanish in an explosion of light. You can continue in your present form yet be aware of the formless and deathless deep within you. Okay, I'm sorry. All these noises kind of distract me, and it's quite hard for me to process all this with my mind. And on the other hand, all these, you know, wisdom are not understandable, understandable by your mind. So I'm gonna, you know, read this again. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna read the question again. You said that presence is consciousness. That has been reclaimed from the mind. Who does the reclaiming? That has been reclaimed from the mind. Who does the reclaiming? You do. Okay. All right. I got it. But since in your essence you are consciousness, we might as well say that it is an awakening of consciousness from the dream of form. This does not mean that your own form will instantly vanish in an explosion of light. You can continue in your present form yet be aware of the formless and deathless deep within you. We might as well say that it is an awakening of consciousness from the dream of form. This does not mean that your own form will instantly vanish in an explosion of light. You can continue in your present form, yet be aware of the formless and deathless within you, deep within you. Cool. All right, I'm gonna read another question here. I must admit that this is way beyond my comprehension. And yet, on some deeper level, I seem to know what you're talking about. It's more like a fle- feeling than anything else. Am I deceiving myself? No, you're not. Feeling will get you closer to the truth of who you are than thinking. I cannot tell you anything that deep within you you don't already know. When you have reached a certain stage of inner connectedness, you recognize the truth when you hear it. If you haven't reached that stage yet. The practice of body awareness will bring about the deepening that is necessary. Okay, the body awareness. Yes, I believe here that understanding you cannot put into words again, like the unmanifested. So many things, so many you know, intricate and you know delicate information that could be perceived by us cannot be verbalized. And articulate, and that does not say you don't have any understanding about it.、Uh, you can still just understand it without, you know, being able to、uh, verbalize it. I think. Yep. Practice of body awareness. You have to pay attention to how your body feel, and that's a practice. Love it. Okay, my camera is overheated. I recorded a 20 minutes video and now is another 13 minutes, so it's more than half an hour. Yep, good job, my camera. I'm gonna read more later, but I'm not recording it. Appreciate your time. Thank you for reading with me. I hope you got something, at least inspired by me. Okay, again, I'm on a train. See, and it's actually moving. So. <laughs> yeah, last time I recorded a video on the train, I wasn't very comfortable to、um, you know speak. But now I don't I don't feel anything awkward at all. I just feel like this is normal. This is like you know talking to a friend or family.、Um, yeah, you're gonna make some noise, right? And that's fine. If people don't understand it, that's okay. Just do you. Yep. Talk to you later.